Hello, welcome uh, at the Electronic Show 2014. We are presenting our six-channel RS-422 line driver and Cola link device ICHF in combination with our all-new ICPTH series. The news is this IC series is now doing X4 interpolation of the chip at excellent uh, jitter performance. So, I am playing the ICPT3313H device using a code wheel of 1250 CPR, 1250 lines. And what's on screen here is the result after X2 interpolation. You see the quadrature output, A, B, and the gated index. In this case, it's gated with the B signal. It's your choice. You have a selection pin, T1. You can select A, B gated, B gated, or off gated. Now, if I switch over to X4 interpolation, what's now a well worn chip, you see a perfect result. Now, what's on screen here is now 1250 multiplied by 4, so it's actually 5,000 uh, counts per, uh, sorry, 5,000 cycles per turn, meaning 20,000 counts. I can go into detail to show you, show you the jitter behavior. Now I'm zooming in. The trigger has changed on A, so it's free running on A. And you see the edge variation of, a, of the interpolated signal, but it's quite stable. So we specify to be better than plus minus 10% over full temperature and supply voltage range. For calibration, for setting up, setting up the encoder, it is important to have a look at the analog signals. And that's possible now using the ICHF encoder link mode. The parts I'm playing are also eval boards, you can, uh, which are available for purchase, so you can do the same thing. I am pressing a knob, and this causes the HF device to go analog. I switch back the scope so that, so that we can see the analog signals. Now I have a look into the encoder to the amplified sine, cosine signal. So we can see the gate with the index, sine, cosine, and the analog U signal. That's a clear advantage for setting up operation so that you have an, if you align the encoder, you can do this with help of analog signals even better than with the digital signals.